Oof. I feel refreshed. I still look like a Pokemon, Bob. Oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Bob. We made a promise that we would form a rescue team together. I wonder what Bob is doing. I should go out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Let's play. Someday I'm going to get that right. In the last episode, we started our adventure as a Pikachu, and in this episode, we're going to continue on that adventure. And Bob is sleeping outside of my door. That's not creepy whatsoever. <laughs> um, oh, no. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I was so excited. I've been waiting here since dawn. I guess I just fell asleep. Um, anyway, our rescue team officially begins. Let's do this right. So, anyway, we don't have a job offer yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe there's something in the mailbox. And we've got the rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be here. This is the rescue team starter set. Yeah, I just said that, Bob. You always get one when you start a rescue team. Bob opened this rescue team st uh, starter thingy. Rescue team badge was inside. A toolbox was inside. Pokemon news was inside. Yeah, there are all sorts of good stuff in it. The rescue team badge. It's proof that you're in a rescue team. This toolbox too. You can use it for keeping item that you find in dungeons. I'll put stuff in here that Butterfree gave us um, yesterday or something. Might as well put good use. But those items are really useful. Let's use them on our adventures. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. And we have a copy of Pokemon News. That is useful information about rescuers. I'll leave the Pokemon News in your mailbox. You should check it out later. And let's see this. Is there any other mail? Did we miss anything? The mailbox was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If you were any uh, rescue jobs, we would getting, be getting mail, but I guess no one knows about our team just yet. It didn't say that, but it probably just meant the exact same thing, I don't know. Glonk. Huh? What's up? Do we have a rescue team job? Do we have a rescue job? Do we have a rescue job? Do we have a rescue job? Oh, open it for obviously. Maybe it's a rescue uh, job request. Come on, what does it say? Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Ketopy. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. Oh, wait a second. I thought you were Magnemite because you said bzz, bzz, bzz thingy. A strange electronic wave f uh, flow through a dungeon and it's stuck uh, um, to get a Magnemite and a Magnemite. This isn't um, enough to uh, form a magneton. It's not uh, complete. Well, just join in if you're a magnemite as well. Please, we need your help. This is from magnemite's friend. Let's do it. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Let's do this right. Hell yeah. We're going to form the wave cave. Oh, you're here. Bzz. My friends are in the cavern. Bzz. My friend should be uh, on bottom uh, six floor b basement six floor I don't somewhere in the basement. Please help them. Bzz. That's a really annoying sound to make. <laughs> I've got to admit that. From the wave cave floor and the stairs are right over there. This way we're not going to get any good grinding going on, are we? I also switched recording programs because I used Camtasia for a lot already. And I switched our back over to... Wow. Wow. Back over to Deke's story for this, because I want to try it out. But the file was uh, 15 minutes long, and it was like 42 gigabytes. Whereas this, if I'm recording for 15 minutes, it'll probably somewhere be somewhere around the, uh, I don't know, 4 gigabyte range? Somewhere around there? I feel like that's about right. So yeah, that's about 10 times as much, which means that... I'm going to be doing a lot of pre-recording for this Let's Play. And if I have really big files, I cannot do as much pre-recording. And there's really no editing going into this other than uh, fixing my audio. So, yeah, there's not really a lot of editing. Survive, please, survive. For the love of God. For the love of God, don't, don't die. Don't die on me now. You leveled up. Am I going to level up as well? I hope I level up. I do not, in fact, level up. 
This is gonna go down badly. No, it isn't. And now I grew a level. My HP went up a little bit, but I'm still almost dead. Oh, and you're just running away. Well, that's all I care about, really. And there's a Ratsatsa. Uh, you still have plenty of HP. Go ahead and fight. Uh, probably should... Yeah, I was gonna say, probably should be switching out. Because if my teammate dies, uh, I also get sent back. So, uh, how do I do this? Axe, right? Yeah. Why did I get chill with? I'm not even gonna be using it. So yeah, I'm recording with the usual program again, which means that I'm gonna have to add it in it as well, which kind of stings because pre-recording, one thing about uh, uh, being able to uh, add it in Adobe Premiere, because if I record with Camtasia, I have to add it with Camtasia because it's a uh, camera, camera file codec, which means that Adobe Premiere is not gonna be able to uh, read it. But Camtasia can mod a queue, make, uh, which means make a list of uh, uh, items uh, the videos, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, to be exported. Uh, which Adobe Premiere, uh, with its integration with uh, Media Encoder, can actually do. And, well, that, sh that just... It's awesome, because if I record 10 episodes, I edit them all, I can just let them render overnight. Which will save me a bit of time in production, uh, obviously. Because I don't have to waste time during the... Well, I suppose I really don't have to waste that much time, because I... The... the I don't know. Would it, would this be laggy? If I was rendering, because... All the actual rendering itself of the game, not of the video, is done in the... 3D as itself, so I suppose it wouldn't be as laggy as I think it'd be. But then again, I have to be able to record it as well, so yeah. Oh, they're here! Let's try and get it now! Our bodies are separated, bzzzd, rejoice, bzzzd, yeah, bzzzd, I'm really annoyed by this, bzzzd, be thankful, you two, you are a hero, thank you, bzzzd, bzz. I received 500 poke and a revival seed and a raspberry, that's rather nice, I must admit, boy, I'm sure glad I rescued, uh, that something well today, I have to admit, since that was our first job as a rescue team, I was really nervous. I'm whipped out. I'll go home and sleep. Let's do this again tomorrow. See you. Want to save your adventure? Um, no, just in case this recording goes wrong. Where? Where am I? Maybe this is a dream? Oh, there's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Hmm, I can't remember. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what the dream was about. Oh well, there's another day of rescues. I wonder if I've received any mail. Let's check the mailbox. There's nothing in there. Morning, Blower! You're up early! Oh, you checked the mailbox, did you? Hmm, what's the word? Uh, are there any new jobs for us? Wow, it's empty? Hmm, well, I guess so. After all, we just started up. Well, no more pen. Let's go to the Pokemon Square. I think there will be pretty, uh, jobs up the post office. I actually almost dubbed up there. Pokemon Square's over this way. Let's go! So we're doing that and then we're ending up this episode probably, because this is going to take a while to do. This is Pokemon Square. That's the Kecklean shop, you can buy and sell items there. His voice already hurts my throat. That's the facility bank, you can save your money there. This is the Gulpen Lincoln shop. Because in the end, nothing even matters. Lincoln Park. Oh, it's a Link shop, not Lincoln. I thought I had a good joke there for a moment. Gulpin will link your moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you cannot use them all at the same time. If you need more details, you'd better be asking Gulpin. And that's the Kangaskhan storage. Store items there, they'll never be locked. Oh, God damn it, my screen keeps going black. I really have to fix that. <laughs> if you have important items, you should store them there before you head into a dungeon. 
And then there's Wiggly's over, but hey, he's not here yet, so... How do you like it? The shops are useful, huh? Oh yeah, there's also the Pelopper Post Office. It's straight ahead. I'm uh, sure you can get information on the rescue jobs there. So, let's start uh, with the visit to the Pelopper Post Office. Let's do so indeed. Over there, the Pelopper Post Office. Yeah, it's a busy business, isn't it? This is where the information is gathered uh, from Pokemon needing rescues in all sorts of places. Take a look at this. Do you see the bulletin board? It lists rescues jobs. Check it out, bulletin board. That's a lot of rescue jobs. But hey, I'm accepting all of them because I can make a good amount of money out of them. Job list, I'm taking all the jobs as well. I'm probably not supposed to do this right now, but I, I am. So. See, the jobs are all listed, right? If you want to uh, go and rescue, you first accept the job uh, by selecting it with accept. Then you go into the job list, choose the job, confirm you will take the job for the rescue mission. If you don't select take job, you won't be able to rescue the uh, job even if you go to the dungeon. If the time, uh, for the time being, we should just stick with the uh, jobs posted here. Our team will uh, become known after we do the ramps. La 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 la. Or a lot of dialogue, I can't really take that. But uh, we'll get more job offers soon in our mailbox. And if we uh, want to take uh, on rescue jobs, we should do the job list. Uh, so, oh, I already did that. I, I, I already did that, yeah. So we're going into Tiny Forest, I suppose, again. But will I be next episode of this episode? I'll be doing that this episode. Just be Oh, there's also Thunder Wave Cave. Uh, I'll just be going to Tiny Woods. Tiny Woods. It's really, really close by, actually. So there's no uh, mission on this floor because it tells you when there's a mission on your destination. Uh, when you reach your destination floor, where's a mission. Uh, it tells you when you enter the floor. And it obviously didn't tell me here, so there's obviously no mission here. So I probably should be getting the hell out of here as quickly as possible. And there's a Wurmple. Let's kill the Wurmple. Bye bye, Wurmple. And then there's a Pidgey. Let's kill the Pidgey. Bye bye, Pidgey. <laughs> this is easy. I like it. And you've reached the destination floor. I don't know what my exact mission is, but I probably have to find somebody in here. I might have to find an item. I don't know. I don't think uh, actually E rank jobs are all that difficult with finding items and shenanigans like that. So. I'll probably just have to find some kind of lost Pokemon. Scratch probably, yeah, gonna take out the Sunken on one hit. Uh, Rattata, how are you doing? Uh, let's show him the rescue team badge. Gain a magical power, thank you. See me later at Palapar Post Office. Mission has been completed, leave now. No, you wanna stay? Yes, I do wanna stay because I think I do have a second job in this dungeon. But firstly, that's Thunder Shock just because 42 damage. Really unnecessary? Yeah. Fun? Yeah. <laughs> so I know it's 4-3. I think there's a job here. No, there isn't. Well, in that case, let's just complete this uh, dungeon and then we'll claim our reward because I think there are only three floors in here, right? Yeah. Thank you for rescuing Rattata. It's a reward of 100 Poké. And Team Sharp got five rescue points. Now we're probably going to get into what rescue points actually are. Thank you for getting my urine, Barry. Here's your reward, 100 Poké, also a Revival Seed, and 5 Rescue Points. We did good today. Let's knock off and call it a night. See you tomorrow. And no, I do not want to save my game again. I uh, will probably have another dream. This is going by really quickly. Again? I, am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again, huh? They're talking to me. I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Uh, it's shaken. Uh, an earthquake? Wow, it's getting worse. For a dream, it does feel strangely real, but... The next morning. Uh, hello? Ah, uh, hello? Uh, you, you're a vlogger, aren't you? Oh, you can't see us, of course. Uh, how very rude of us. 
We're pleased to meet you. We are the trio. <laughs> Jeez, we didn't see that. Yep. <laughs> Last night during the earthquake, uh, we actually had an earthquake. Our child Diglett was attacked. He was wicked away at a peak of man a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb uh, somewhere up that high. That's why we must call upon the help of uh, you, Vlogger. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory. A, uh, a villable, a very vicious uh, ruffian. What kind of language is this even? I mean, is this even English anymore? <laughs> Please do be careful. Please, we need your help. We must go. That was so sudden, there was no time to waste uh, even to say no. It's too bad, I'd better go. We'll be doing that next episode, however. Until then, do not forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also, share this video if you enjoyed it. Until the next time, I've been Vlogger, you've been awesome. Bye.